I started taking investing seriously at the age of 31, right? And so naturally, I thought that if it is that I had started earlier, if I had understood more about investing earlier, then it would have given me and my family a better head start. So that, of course, made me determined to give our son a good start for his investing and for his future. So at the age of 18 months, we decided to open an investment account for our son. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what that process was like, what is, what is required to open an investment account for a minor, and to just help you have all the steps down so that you can do the same for your children or just the children in your life. Learning is the key to successful investing. And who doesn't want to invest in some way? Here at Learn, Grow, Invest, we focus on financial education, all with the aim of sharing our knowledge on personal finance, investing, and building wealth. We do this on the foundation of our faith in God. If a more holistic approach is what you need, check out our Grow Faith-Based Financial Coaching Program. Find out more about us at learngrowinvestclub.com and follow us on all social media platforms at Learn, Grow, Invest. To start, you have the option of adding your child or a minor to your, to your existing investment account, your existing brokerage account, or you can open an account for them separately. We took the route of opening a separate account for our son because we want him to have the ability to take over that account later on in life. We want to invest for him specifically with, with investments that are relevant to him. So first, secure a photo ID for your child. Most likely that's going to be a passport. If, however, you don't have a passport for the child, it's still okay. There is an alternative. If you have their birth certificate along with, along with a passport size photograph of the child that is signed by a JP, that is acceptable. Now, if you don't have the passport, I recommend that from the get-go, you have at least two of those photographs signed. Why? Because you're going to need them for both the tax office and for the brokerage. Okay? So that's step one, photo identification of the child. Step two, get the child their TRN. Now, that's their tax registration number. When it is that you want to open a brokerage account, everybody needs a tax identification number on record, even if the person is a minor. And with our system here in Jamaica, you are able to get that TRN number for the child as soon as pretty much you have their birth certificate available, right? So what you do, you can download the the TRN application form from the official Jamaica tax website, complete the form, submit that form electronically, and then you will be required to present the child in person at the tax office to receive the tax registration number in hand. You can also naturally carry that form in, in person, which is what I opted to do because honestly, I did not have a great experience trying to do the online submission of the form. So I went in person with the form. It wasn't really that rough. It wasn't terrible waiting there to get it done. And by the end of that time period, I was able to walk out with a letter that has his TRN number on it. After you get that letter, there is a six week period before you are required to return to the tax office to collect the actual TRN card. However, the card itself is not required for you to open the account. What is required is the number. So the letter will suffice. Step three, select your broker. Now, if you are already investing in the Jamaica Stock Exchange, if you already have a brokerage account with a local broker, then you can choose to use that same broker for your child. I'm not here to tell you to go one direction or another in terms of in terms of which broker to use because the truth is most brokerages have the same or similar requirements. From a regulatory perspective, all brokerages require 
the KYC compliance, which is the know your customer compliance, right? And there is a minimum level that is required before an account can be established. And that usually requires the completion of things like your member in information form, your FATCA form, your having having the, the person's TRN and ID on, on file, etc. So at this point, I would say contact your agent if you have one. Hopefully you do. If you have one, contact your agent in advance to let them know that you are seeking to open an account for your child who is a minor. So they can give you all the requisite paperwork upfront and you have the opportunity to complete that in your own time without being being rushed, right? If that's, that's not doable, if you don't have a broker or an agent, then call in and ask. Someone will be will be willing to send you that information beforehand and you can still complete it. And if you need to appear in person, which you may need to do for some brokerages, then you can carry all the forms already completed in. Now, what you need to understand about the brokerage part of this is that you as the adult, as the parent, you are signing on behalf of your child. And therefore, your KYC needs to also be updated and compliant. So your identification needs to be up to date, your proof of address, your proof of income, those things may be required of you as the person, as a signatory on the account. So don't get frustrated, don't get to work up like, why do they need all of these things? It's so much and it's so unnecessary. It's not unnecessary. Um, they're doing their due diligence and it is, it is a part of what is being done to try and protect us as the customer, as the clients, right? So give them a little grace as, as you go through that process. So the other thing that you will need for your, your child, again, is the, is the ID. If you have a passport, photo identification for the child, great, use that. If you don't, then the birth certificate and a signed copy of the passport photo, again, will come into play, and those can be utilized to verify the child's identity and open the account. Now, once you submit everything and your broker or your, or your agent signs off on it, then it needs to go through most likely a verification process. So you may hear your broker say to you, give us X number of days and then we will contact you with the information about your account. Or you may get that account right away. So once it is that you do have the account information, once it is that, that your child's account has been established, then you go to step four, where it is that you are able now to start trading. You're able to start buying stocks on your child's behalf. So you can go on the JTrader platform if your broker facilitates that and add your child's account to your JTrader platform, right? Add their JCSD number so that you can now trade on behalf of your child. And your child will now have dividends coming into their account, provided that, of course, you completed that mandate form. So those are really the steps. And I really hope that this video would have helped to demystify some of what, what is surrounding opening that account for your, for your child. It is not much different from opening an account for yourself as an adult. The only the only nuance there is that you are now signing in the capacity of guardian for, for, this, for this account, and you therefore have stewardship, direct stewardship over this account until the child comes of age where they are now allowed to trade on their own. So if this video has been helpful for you, please do remember to like and share it. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that maybe I missed anything that you're not clear about that we could help clarify for you.